Indiana. Absolutely. Several times around the world we've commentated on him and, you know, quick on his feet. Lovely combinations, great footwork, and I said that knee comes out of nowhere. You can do it close, you can do it a long range, dangerous weapon. Yeah, Certainly absolutely. is. In the black shorts from Thailand, Super Pro Samui. Long good. As we all know about jumping knees before from Remy Boyanski, of course, a famous. Remy famous did it a few times. Yeah, of course. Yeah. He did hit me with it, but. Uh... <laughs> Chris Nagimbi trains with Mickey Benasus at the Siam Gym in Holland. And it's an absolute pleasure to be sat here watching these two fighters. This is going to be tremendous, isn't it? Yeah, well, I'm very uh, anxious to see uh, to see Longa yes. because I don't know him so yes. well. Yes. And uh, but the, the stories I heard about him, also from you guys, I'm sure it's going to be an exciting fight. He's very, very good. Round one. In the black shorts, longer and Super Pro Samui. And in the white shorts, the African warrior, Chris Nagimbi. Yeah, we've seen both guys in the hotel earlier, both very relaxed, both very excited, very, very happy. It's a K1 Max Finals, Final 16. You know, they've both got to prove it. This is a big stage. Chris Nagimbi said to me early last year that he wanted to fight a tie, and his wishes coming true. Nice kick from Longern already. Yeah, lovely start from, you know, low, high, body kick, low kick. And Nagimbi, you know, hands tight, obviously he's wary of the kicks. Vicious left up from the Gimby though as well. He can bang with both hands. He's not just a near. Uh, Longer oh. is very good at his, in his oh. legs, and uh, of course you always expect it from Thai guys, but especially the high kicks, he yeah. makes them so easy. He's certainly the smaller of the two at 70 kilos, and you know the Gimby looks natural, but even there, you know, the balance that's of the Thai. Style. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> Thai style. But the referee allows it. Good so boxing okay. from Nagimbi, though. You can see his works on that, Kieran. Yeah, they're gonna, you're going to work the hands against the tie to, you know, apply the pressure. Hey. Fast left kick and a right kick also by Longo. Quick with the legs. As Ernesto rightly said, a good low as, as well. The right hand just missed a big whistling left up by Nagimbi. Incredible balance from the tie. You know, yeah. switches from left yeah, to right. Exactly. He's got his and distance he already, hasn't he? Well, what I like to what I like to see about the tie is that he counters with kicks. And you don't see that so much. He counters the punches from Chris with the kick. He also caught Chris with a sneaky right hand just earlier. And he's working up and down really well. And the gimme getting closer though. He's trying to you know, lift his knee up straight under the chin. Oh, well, this is his specialty, so. He doesn't want to get into a boxing match though with the gimme. Not at all. He's a natural, naturally more heavy fighter. At 70 kilos. Yeah, you usually see under the Muay Thai sort of rules that you know they start slower, but it's Thai start fast. Long this time starts fast, yes. Yeah. Beautiful right hand counter, yeah, that was a nice, one. Was a nice one. Very nice shot, wasn't it? Sharp Looks like hand. Chris was a little bit, little bit uh, hurt, but uh, he coming back very nice now. Long Gun's getting there first with each technique. Oh, isn't he? he is at the moment, yeah. You know, McGimby's just trying to get closer, trying to work his hands, but very impressive, Long Gun. Hard leg kick to the thigh of Chris Nagimbi. It's not giving him any space either to do the, the, the no, jumping knees. I think they've so prepared good. for that, haven't they? Yeah, they certainly have. Knowing right. that's going to come. Tactics vitally important. Well, especially after a break or something, that those moments are the, the most dangerous for Chris or for for longer and to get the, to get the, the jumping knee. They're not gonna. He's not gonna do it in a, in an action. Oh, lo lovely overhand right counter. Yeah. The first first round. Round. He's been scoring really well with that sneak right hand. In the middle of the first round, in the gimme just across the ropes, away from us. Yeah, he's kept it quick, in close, he's used his hands, he's throws beautiful low kicks, coming up to the body kick. He hasn't just thrown the one kick and tries to go for the one score, he's thrown two, three at a time. Uh, what I like to see from uh, from longer is that he, uh, he counters, he counters with kicks, he counters with punches, and he counters very, very correct, you know, very accurate. Well, here's some of the action, Chris the gimme did start with a big left up. Tries the right hand as well, but just misses with his own knee. But Longer and scoring some good shots. Sorry, he showed he's got a good chin there. It wasn't the cleanest yeah, of knees, but still. There's the yeah. right sneak right hand over the top that he's thrown very well again. I mean, these are these are clean. things these are things that Thai fighters never did before, and yeah, now they can. So um, yeah, it's very good to see. Well, round two with his three three-minute round action here in Madrid. K1 rises. 2012. 
and it's long in Super Pro Samui versus Chris Nagimbi, and it's a very, very good fight. We'd say the first round is to longer and Super Pro Samui in my eyes. Yeah, I mean, it's a very intriguing fight because it's a very clash of styles, but you know, not many people have seen longer and fight before. You know, round one, welcome to the K1 Max. Wait. Yeah, well, he shows himself. Beautiful left hook on the side of now the head. show that Long he can there. take it. There goes Nagimbi, he hurts him with the knee. He's fighting into action. He's hurt Kieran. He's on wobbly legs, he took a huge hook, and followed up with a knee, oh. and both Stop. banging. Break. He's got to keep his chin down, Chris Nagimbi. Really does want this. He needs to keep his rhythm and not the ties. That's right, he needs to up, up some pace, because otherwise the tie will slowly creep into it with big body kicks. But very impressive there with some fast hands. He took them well, Longern. The Gimby's creeping back into this, hey. isn't he? Yeah. Left tie kick, good score by Longern and a good near right hand misses from the Gimby. Back comes Longern. He doesn't Stop. want to get into a brawl with the Gimby. That'll be a big mistake. No, he does. He hey. doesn't want to make a mistake like he did just early on the, on the round. He got caught with some big shots, was on wobbly legs. He seemed to have sort of cleared his head and this stuff. Yeah, well, uh, I must say that he's doing good now, and uh, I'm kind of surprised. Uh, I think I think that uh, I thought that uh, Chris would finish the fight, but uh, hey! still he cannot do it. So I'm impressed with the aggression of the tie as well. He's not oh, waiting yeah, exactly. back. Yeah, he's not exactly. waiting back. Hey! He's some good shots. Yeah. But I wanted to see how how uh, how it is in the in the rest of the fight. He doesn't want to get into a brawl with Nagimbi, especially with the, the heavier shots coming from the African. But they both look very concentrated, and uh, this is also following right away after uh, after a little chance. The last minute of the second round, what an intriguing contest. Both trying to swap flying knees. The skill level of these two athletes, yeah. they're athletes, aren't they? It's yeah, incredible. They're, yeah, they're real athletes. I think Longburn has to uh, watch out uh, going to the ropes too much because that, those are the moments for Chris to jump the knee. I think it's also dangerous when he's throwing body shots as well because the gimmick can count them really quick. Yeah. The pace along and slowed down a bit here. Yeah. The power and, and, and the speed of the kicks are not uh, like they were in the first round. Maybe you're still a little bit hurt about the... Uh, all the punches he had to take. Impressed with the defensive work of Nagimbi as well. He's moved his head really well. What a fight, though. incredible. Great fight. Right hand misses across the chest of Nagimbi. He goes in forward again. End of the second round. Nagimbi needs to put pressure on, does he, Ernesto? He does, he does. And uh, on the other hand, on the other hand, I like the pace of the fight. I mean, it was very high tempo. They both gave it all and they both keep it throwing the shots who would you give the second round to who would you give the second round to yeah definitely i think he's ahead in total also because his second round was bigger than than longer his first round knock knock who's there <laughs> they won't let him in the superstar that is but a hurry no listen he came back is he in or is this. he out <laughs> just for this k1 he wants to win the k1 Heavyweight crown for he sails away into boxing. Banner Harry is back later against Anderson Radoff Silva. Staunch and harsh words from Mickey Benazus. He wants him to go out and take this fight and take it to Longer and to Pro Samui. He has to apply pressure because Longer looked tired in the end of that round. He has to apply pressure, fast hands. If he gets the opportunity, throw the knee because then he can take this fight. Yeah, round, I think so. Round three of this three, three minute round. K1 rising here in Madrid. Oh. Black wow. shorts, Chris Nagimbi. Black shorts, longer and Super Pro Samui. Of course, this is the final 16. You know, all the single fights will go through to an eight man tournament later on in the year. Of course, you've been in many yourself, and there's those big prizes there. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the tournaments are the most, the, the, the best uh, challenges for, for a fighter. This sort of pace that Nagimbi would like, getting to sort of like a street brawl as such. That's your head there, I think. 
That's a nice headbutt. <laughs> I don't think, I don't think, think he got points for it, but. Big swing in right of Longen. He's got to keep his hands up. Oh, in the first round, he was he was waiting for Chris's punches, but now he's coming himself with the punches. He's not countering anymore, he's, he's attacking. Things, he's putting things together really, really well and stepping off on angles, yeah, well, causing I'm, a bit of confusion to the African warrior. I tell you, I'm really impressed with the, you know, the boxing skills there of the tie. Yeah. Incredible. Good combinations, finish up with a body kick. He has to keep throwing them. That, that's, yeah. that's a lovely combination there. He has to work the gimme, though, doesn't he? Jumping right hand again. The only thing is that everything that Chris does looks a little bit more convincing. Yeah. Scoring a lot now. of points, isn't he, Longen? It's where the weight can also... This is, this is where it's dangerous, where he keeps his hands low when he's coming in for body shots. And again, he is very dangerous with that knee. You can never count him out. Yeah, Longer looks really looks tired now. Good combinations from Nagimbi. A left up got a right hand across the chin of the tie. Oh, lovely. He's going for the finish. He's going to go for it now. He's in trouble, Longen. He comes to Gimby. I mean, superb boxing skills from there, Gimby. Heavy, heavy shots. The tie is still standing. I don't know how he is. Yeah, he's, uh, he has tremendous fighting spirit. I and mean, he took so many shots already. Still comes standing back, there. Comes back with his own boxing still coming shots. Back. Longen yeah. still looks wide open for a counter, though, doesn't he? 45 seconds left. All out. Yeah, I mean, Chris must be also be tired also, because otherwise he would have tried to finish the fight. I tell you, it literally could go either way, couldn't it? One, literally, ten seconds in, it's going to Gimby's way. Ten seconds the other way, it's going Long Arm's way. Exactly, but the way he works now, you see that he's already tired also. Otherwise, he would have tried to finish the fight. Punch combination from the Gimby steps on and delivers a beautiful knee to Long Arm. This is a close round. This one. I think it's Chris. Yeah, I think Nagimbi's yeah. literally coming into it at the end of this round. Needs to work though, Nagimbi as well. Stamp his authority. Can't see the judges. I think Chris was uh, very convincing this round. And, yeah. uh, where this, the first round uh, was uh, longer, and the second round was Chris, and the this third could, round. Could this be an extra round? Could it be? I don't think so. I think it's, it will be Chris. Yeah, well, I think there you go. I think Nagimbi has sold it the latter part of the round two and that part of the round three. Yeah. Lovely pressure, but you know, I think also the size and the weight of Nagimbi. There's the right helps. hand that knocked I think the so, sweat yeah. off the head of the young man from Koh Samui. Especially in these sorry, blessing, especially in these kind of weights. Yeah. Uh, a little weight difference is always a big uh, You did say advantage. that on SOS correctly and rightly so, as ever. But if you've just joined us, where have you been? K1 Rises returns here in Madrid. And an absolute fantastic contest between, between two amazing fighters. And Ernesto Hoost and Kieran Kettle. I'll give it to Chris Nagimbi. Yeah, just for the Ladies pressure that he applied in the We have a winner of this three. contest by unanimous decision from the red corner, well, the African warrior.